Here's how he explained it. He said that he told Senator Grassley, a Republican, that he wouldn't intrude or interfere with the Hunter Biden investigation. Okay, because some Republicans were worried that Merrick Garland would tilt it away. So Garland goes, oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. Okay, it was all David Weiss, the U.S. attorney in Delaware, full power. But I didn't know what was happening. Okay, I it was him. I promised they wouldn't get involved. Now, on the surface, it's pretty clever because every specific question, Garland says, I don't know. I wasn't following it. I don't know. I didn't I didn't hear about statute of limitations. I don't know. All right. But it falls apart. Now, I'm going to tell you why. All right. So that was what Garland's posture was. He didn't know. The House. Um, Republicans missed opportunities. I told Hannity on a radio show today, on his radio show, next time it should be Jordan, Hannity, and me interviewing Merrick Garland. No one else. Okay? Because we'd ask the specific questions that he couldn't pull that on. For example, you don't have to intrude, Mr. Attorney General, but you do have to provide oversight. So say you appoint David Weiss to investigate Hunter Biden, and Weiss is drunk every day. What what are you going to do? You don't know that? You're not watching what's happening there? Or he doesn't show up for work? Or whatever it may be. The attorney general is the boss. He doesn't have to tell Weiss, charge him with this, charge him with that. But he certainly has to provide oversight. Garland said he didn't provide any oversight. When asked why it took almost five years to bring stupid charges, and they were, that got thrown out by a judge against Hunter Biden. Well, I don't know. And that is the key. Uh, and I'm just remember that. All right, let me play you three sound bites. First one is uh, Congressman Mike Johnson, Louisiana. Uh, and they're talking about the length of this Hunter Biden investigation. Go. Why has the Justice Department dragged this investigation out for so long? Does it really take years to determine if Hunter Biden lied on a federal form related to purchasing a firearm? Mr. Weiss was a longtime career prosecutor. President Trump appointed him as the you're not answering the question. Is that standard procedure? Should it take that long to make such a simple determination? I'm answering the question. Mm -hmm. Give me an opportunity to do so. OK. He was charged uh, with that investigation under the previous administration. He's continued. He knows how to conduct investigations, and I have not intruded or attempted to evaluate that. He hasn't attempted to evaluate it. <laughs> I mean, that we, it's so absurd when you think about it. This is the top law enforcement official in the country the president's son is being investigated for felony corruption, and he, and he hasn't evaluated it. He should be fired on the spot. Second soundbite. Congressman Dan Bishop, North Carolina, um, picks up on the length of the investigation, how it affects the statute of limitations. Go. When did the... Justice Department permit statutes of limitations to expire on some of the prospective charges against Hunter Biden for tax violation? I don't know anything about the statute of limitations here. The investigation was in the hands of Mr. Weiss to make the determines that determinations that he thought were appropriate. Are you unaware that tax that uh, statutes of limitations have in fact been allowed to expire after there having been tolling agreements in place? I'm going to say again, determination of where to bring cases and which kinds of cases to bring was left to Mr. Weiss. So no oversight at all. Garland didn't know. Sergeant Schultz, I don't know nothing. Okay. And throwing Weiss under the bus. Weiss is going to have the news. All right. When it comes down to the end of this. Third soundbite is, um, again, the same mantra. 
Garland must have said Trump appointed Weiss a dozen times because that's the Democratic talking point. All right. So here's uh, the chairman, Jim Jordan. Go. Quote, Mr. Weiss has full authority to bring cases in other jurisdictions if he feels it's necessary. That was your response, Attorney General, to Senator Grassley's question on March 1st, 2023. You just referenced it when Mr. Bishop was questioning you. Only problem is he'd already been turned down by the U.S. attorney in the District of Columbia, Mr. Graves. So he didn't have full authority, did he? I had an extended conversation with uh, Senator Grassley at the time. We briefly touched on the Section 515 question and how that process went. Um, I've my never been suggested. Simple. My point's real simple, Mr. Garland. You said he had complete authority, but he'd already been turned down. He, he wanted be. to bring an action in the District of Columbia, and the U.S. attorney there said, no, you can't. And then you go tell the United States Senate under oath that he has complete authority. I'm going to say again that uh, no one had the authority to turn him down. They could refuse uh, to partner with him. They could you not. You can use whatever you, you, language. They, refuse to partner is turning down. Well, it's not the same under a well-known Justice Department practice. Oh, <laughs> just Barney Fife. That's what that guy reminds me of, to do the sitcom motif. Well, here's the truth. Uh, U.S. attorneys uh, Matthew Graves in D.C. and Martin Estrada in California refused to help David Weiss. Okay? Merrick Garland could have ordered them to help David Weiss. He did not. He did not order them. All right? He had to know they refused to help because it was all over. He had to know, and Garland did nothing, all right? That's not full authority, so Garland's not telling the truth. He goes, oh, well, uh, they can refuse to partner. Uh, it's just garbage. And this is why people think the government's corrupt, because it is. Garland is a corrupt man. It's right on display. And those two sides to that story, he's being deceptive, Garland. Now, I believe Garland. I believe him when he says, I don't know anything. Because he knew from the jump when he took the attorney general job that Hunter Biden was under scrutiny. And he didn't want any part of this radioactive case at all. Because Biden appointed him to the position of attorney general. So he said, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to know anything. Don't tell me anything. All right. I'm almost 100 percent sure Garland's not lying about that. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20 percent. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on the first. No spin news. Every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on the first.